Aquarius Pisces, this is a reading for you. This could be your energy. This could be the energy of someone you're connected to or the circumstance. This reading may play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. This is a timeless reading. It's also very general, so take what resonates only and let the rest go. Understand that this is not a gender specific reading. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, we're going to get right into the energies here. Um, guys, it's been a minute since I've been on with you. A lot is taking place for everyone with these shifts, with these uh, transits, the full moon, total lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Was it a moon of manifestation? Also a moon of releasing, depending on where uh, Scorpio is in your chart. Obviously, if it's 12th house, it's kind of contrasting, right? Endings, new beginnings, things are being eclipsed. But understand, whenever you have an eclipse, that there's nothing set in stone. These energies can play out over the next six months. And um, there's a lot going on. You know, we won't get too in depth in exactly what, but be patient with yourselves. Um, Pluto is not easy. It's not simple. It's transformation. It's expansion. It's growth through the shadows okay so that being said all of the outer planets are like the watchers right the outer planets are in Capricorn Pluto Uranus Taurus Saturn Aquarius right and Neptune Pisces and if they're like the watchers while we're moving through some personal issues right that are taking us to the next level mercury is in retrograde we have the feminine venus um slightly ahead of mars in aries venus about to go into taurus um the sign that she ruled where she's exalted in all right and mars is just you know right behind venus trying to keep up so um with my meditation today i really went deep you know i'll touch a bit on it um i was transversing through the galaxy in a metatron, metatron cube shaped vessel and uh, you know found myself in the galactic center where i was guided by archangel gabriel and raphael you can embody these energies through like thoughts and you know, Isis, uh, Nephritis. Um, so, guided by these deities and these archangels into the chamber of knowing, right? Into the chamber of knowing where there's nothing but everything, right? I feel like that's the energy that I'm getting for you guys. There is this chamber of knowing that you have entered, that you have been in, that you are about to enter. And what you are coming into is changing your perception, right? There's something that is changing around, okay? And you can bring these energies down. It could be literally something that's happening in your reality that is shifting in a major way. There's like something that is being resurrected, right? Um, like in Lauren Hill's song, Lost Ones, she speaks about being lost, but now being on Hope Road. So that's what it's like. It's like there's something that is being shifted for you. Um, I'm also hearing breach, okay? Maybe there's a breach in contract or there's something like of a breach where there is something that's shifting or changing within the contract, right? All of the personal planets, right? Mercury is retrograde all these energies of the individual right uh mars venus and aries we have the sun in gemini with mercury retrograde in gemini right and venus is about to move into taurus so these are all personal planets these are all things that we're moving through um communication there may be things that are coming back up right mercury retrograde brings things forward Bring things from the past that needs to be reviewed, needs to be revisited, um, re-examined so that we can, again, be prepared for something that's taking us into uh, these themes where Venus wants to take us into that. Um, emphasize our worth, 
our value around our relationships, right? Um, finances, love, sexual energy. But in the meantime, with Mercury, okay, asleep at the wheel, okay, um, although the sun is supporting Mercury, there is a period where there has to be something re-examined, right? Gemini, the sun in Gemini is a busy, busy energy. But what do we do with all that energy, right? What I'm hearing is that there's something about a breach, there's something about contracts, there's something that needs to be worked out before you sign on the dotted line, before you move to the next level, before you move into this energy where Venus wants to take you into, right? That surrounds your worth, that surrounds what you're manifesting. So the chamber of knowing, right? There is protection. There is something that's being guarded because there is something that's shifting, right? Where there was no hope, there is some type of clarity coming in that's shifting you on to a new junction, right? Back onto Hope's Road. Back towards the journey towards your true north, right? So that trip through the Milky Way to the Galactic Center, to the Chamber of Knowing could be moving you into something new, right? Something that has come out of a space where there was a breach and taking you into something that is may have seemed far reaching but it's always been yours okay so that being said we're going to move right on into your message okay we're going to get the faded overall energy and then we're going to just uh See what energies are around you. What comes through? Sagittarius placements. All knowing source. Divine spirit, archangels, guides, ancestors, ascendant masters, five deep above, my higher self. And my galactic team of the highest light and resonance, star races, star family. Allow me to be the clear channel to bring forth truthful, clear, precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy of Sagittarius placements and bring forth the most important and the most healing messages for those who need them the most. Thank you so much. Faded overall energy for Sagittarius placements. Faded overall energy for Sagittarius placements. Okay, so we have two cards and we have the devil. Okay, we have the devil. So breach, a breach in the contract, right? The devil um, energy could represent contracts, right? It's Saturn, right? It's um, time. This could represent a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn highly aspected in your chart. If this is not Capricorn energy, then this is Saturn energy. This is time. This is the energy of feeling constricted by time, feeling as if something has a hold of you, right? This could have something to do with a contract that you're trying to get out of, right? So with the devil card, this always indicates possible fears, illusions, right? Obsession, addiction. Or is this something that is inverted? You know, inverted in how you're thinking about the situation. Overall, the devil card indicates uh, some type of power dynamic or control, but it also came out with the fool, right? The fool. So with the devil and the fool coming out as your faded overall energy, I feel, you know, and this could represent two different entities. This could be all the same. Overall, it's faded. This is the energy of coming out, coming out of something that you feel bound to, taking a leap of faith, right? 
the fool is Uranus energy. Uranus energy can either be youthful, dynamic, right? Um, exuberant, exuberantly powerful, innocent, blissful energy that is highly intellectual because it's supported by source, it's supported by the ethers, or it could be complete foolishness, bad decisions. But in the upright position, I do feel like this is the energy of zero point protection as you're making your way out of a situation, taking a chance, right? The fool could also indicate someone coming out of a dark night of the soul, right? We just got finished talking about Pluto not being any jokes. It's transformation, right? It's shadow work. That full moon in Scorpio was all guns blazing. It was heavy, heavy, heavy. And I feel like, and like I said, shadow work, it doesn't matter if this is your, on the beginning of your journey or you are have well been on the journey for quite some time. You know, shadow work can come at any time on your journey. As soon as you think you have done all the work, boom, there's something else to move through. And that's the cycle of things. But no matter where you find yourself on, this could definitely indicate someone coming out of a dark night of the soul, right? And is ready to take the next phase, phase of their journey. They're ready, okay? They're ready to take that leap. And wherever they fall, they know, right? The chamber of knowings, they know that it's going to be for their greatest and highest good. It's a journey, right? The full card is the, the, the energy of movement, of travel. But the fool can only take but so much with them. You have to be light for this journey, right? There's some things that can't go, right? There's some things that are too dense. I feel like there's a, a weight that's kind of dragging on someone as they're trying to make this leap, as they're trying to move towards this, this, this new opportunity. But we're gonna find out. This is the fate of the overall energy, okay? Uh, the devil and the fool. Now we could have an Aquarius of significance, Aries of significance, all right? Capricorn energy of significance or anyone um, with Saturn how the aspect is in their chart. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Pluto, right? Judgment. So this is like, freedom, liberation. This is some type of judgment, right? Some type of gestation process that's taking place. Where density is being left behind. This is an awakening. This is absolution of karma. This is something that is like your just dessert. This is something that you're moving into that's putting you back on the path. Okay? no matter what it is that you've been through, okay, recently. And remember, this time and energy are fluid, so this could be past, current, or future energies, but these energies are powerful, okay? And with this judgment energy, we have Scorpio, Ophiuchus, energy, okay? So, liberation. Someone is being liberated. Someone is coming into a space, right? Because the judgment also, judgment energy also indicates um, some type of powerful, blessed 
opportunity or connection as well that's opening up, that's manifesting through some type of purging or purification. So we're going to leave it there. Okay, what else for Sagittarius placements? We have Pisces. This is my archetype for Kurt Cobain, who was a Pisces, right? So there could be a Pisces significance coming through. This is also Neptune energy. Um, whenever I get my... Uh, mystery star card archetype of Kurt Cobain this card did want to come out in reverse there could be something to do with addictions or illusions right um something to do with a relationship for sure because we have the Courtney Love aspect here right so there is something here of an illusion or an illusion in love Someone could be an 80s baby. Someone could be connected to the 80s. Someone could definitely be into like a grunge look or a garbage uh, bin kind of look. Um, I don't know why that's coming through, but whenever I had the Kurt Cobain card, it wanted to come out in reverse. There could definitely be something here to do with, again, addiction or some type of illusion surrounding love, right? Or someone finding out something about someone that they thought they loved or... Um, where there may have been some type of emotional instability codependency we also have leo come through okay so this is the mystery star card of theta bara okay the vamp all right, whenever this card comes out, this is a card of someone who could be uh, spiritual or um, psychic, has psychic abilities, um, into the occult, um, does tarot, read crystal balls. It came out in reverse, so this could have something to do with, again, someone who could be a priestess that participates in witchcraft or you know uses their spiritual abilities uh for their own desires um again with the pisces energy of, of kurt cobain both of these cards coming out in reverse this could indicate again with the courtney love energy a feminine energy that is uh, male or female codependent or someone that um is I would say very manipulative, okay? Um, that seeks control through their spiritual abilities in some way. That's why we do have this devil energy here, okay? So there's something here around gaining control through tactics that could involve witchcraft, dark magic, um, manipulative games. Someone could be, um, have narcissistic tendencies. Someone could be a narcissist. Um, because here with this, this quote here, it says, um, To be good is to be forgotten. I'm going to be bad and I'll always be remembered. Okay, that was a quote by Theta Barra. And again, some of her famous movies, A Fool There Was, right? Um, this is an energy that's very emotive, right? Mysterious, um, a scrying, dramatic, right? So here, I feel like there is an energy that 
could be a weight, right? This is something that had to be moved through, something that had to be, you had to separate from, um, where maybe this, these shadows, the shadow work was involved in breaking free of these ties, right? Somebody's karma is healed, someone is moving forward, okay? And we have this energy here of like ego, fear, control, manipulation, emotional instability, scarcity mindset, right? Misuse of uh, power. What else? The Sagittarius placements. Okay. And we have Scorpio. Okay. And this did want to come out in reverse, but this is the mystery star card that represents Brittany Murphy. Okay. So, um, yeah, mysterious circumstances. Unanswered questions, absurdity. This could have something to do with a maternal energy, right? An investigation. Somebody's charismatic charm is no longer working, right? Um, the Brittany Murphy uh, Mystery Star card came out in reverse and she was a Scorpio. So again, there's that Scorpio energy coming through also, right? And the final card we have is Sagittarius, your energy. Um, you guys always get this card. This is my DMX card, right? Dog for life. It came out in the upright position. So I feel as though someone here is loyal. Someone here is royal. Someone here is protecting their assets. Someone here is protecting their inheritance, right? Whatever is meant for them is for them. They're protecting it or they are being protected because of it, right? So, um, someone here has a distinctive voice, right? Slipping, falling, right? Someone has been through a battle, a battle, right? And that battle could have involved, you know, a lot of heartbreak, disappointment, you know, abandonment issues, but ultimately, someone is real, real as it gets, and someone has will, power, um, an abundance of it, and um, they're transcending, they're transforming, right? And moving on, okay, moving on from the density, whatever this means for you, okay? The micro or the macro, like whatever this means for you. This is your energy, right? Strong, wounded warrior, strength. Slipping, falling, can't get up. I'm slipping, I'm falling. I can't get up, but I'm slipping and I'm falling. I got to get up, get me back on my feet so I can tear shit up, right? This is moving forward. This is that willpower. And this is the movement, right? I feel like there is a move in the cards for you guys. I feel like there's a move in the cards for you all. With the devil card here as a faded overall energy with the bull, I do feel like there could be some type of restrictions surrounding work, right? A project struggling about around you know how much should I put into something is it holding me back is it meant for me this could be work this could be family but whatever this tie is it's powerful it's a powerful tie or it was a powerful tie okay but with the bottom of the deck there being the judgment card I do feel like 
there's a certain freedom here, a certain liberation. Someone, some situation, something is being woken up. Someone's waking up to the truth, waking up to the truth about who they are, what they desire, and they're following those desires. Right? Right into a manifestation. After the fool is the magician. Okay. What else for Sagittarius placements? What else for my Sagittarius placements? Please show me clearly. Mysteries in the stars. All right. We have three cards. We have Captivate, right? Captivate. So this is like going down the wormhole, right? Or being caught up in a situation, right, that had you mesmerized. The Captivate card can indicate addiction. It can indicate, again, going down the rabbit hole. It can indicate being under a, an illusion or a spell, right? And a trance. Influenced by something, someone. But the Captivate card can also indicate an instant attraction. This could be something that's coming towards you, all right? We also have a soul star. At the beginning of the reading, I said, there is something that you discovered in the chamber of knowing, right? <laughs> um, whatever that means for you, that is putting you back on Hope's Road. That's putting you back on the journey towards your true north. Your inner compass has been... Readjusted while you were in the chamber of knowings. Okay. Um, about your higher self and soul star, right? This is serious energy. This is serious energy, okay? So this is Isis. This is the Ba of Isis. This is like your purpose. This is your soul's mission here in this reality. Some of you are definitely waking up, are definitely tapping into higher consciousnesses, connecting with your higher self, Becoming lighter, letting go of density, letting go of that government job, letting go of the corporation, stepping into your divine abilities, gifts, you know, um, connecting. But this is also the energy of protection, faith, hope, inner peace. Being guided, right? Sirius is, is the brightest star in the galaxy, all right? And this is also like Six of Swords energy, right? Another travel card. We have the Fool, and now we have Soul Star, okay? This gives me, always gives me Six of Swords energy. You know, in order to make that rite of passage, you have to be light, right? You know, um, light is the sun to walk on water. Right, to find that inner peace. And this is, I feel like this is you moving away from this density, the devil, taking a leap of faith, right? And finding your way. Finding your way. And after the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, right? And the Seven of Swords, you don't really know what you're getting. You don't really know where you're going, but you are connected and you're glowing from within, right? You're glowing from within and you are prepared for whatever comes your way 
right? But if there is higher information, there is, you're connected to Akasha, okay? The last card we have is Akasha. What? Wow. This is amazing. This is your intuition. This is your inner guidance. This is your feminine spirit, right? The Akashic Records. This is Archangel Gabriel, right? And it's funny how I mentioned in my meditation on my way through um, traveling in my Metatron cube-shaped vessel through the Milky Way to the Galactic Center into the Chamber of Knowing, guarded by the Watchers, escorted, escorted by Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael, Thoth, whatever deity you want to connect to. Um, that was my experience, okay? And here I'm getting confirmation with that, with Akasha, because this is also the energy of Archangel Gabriel, okay? Archangel Gabriel. But the Akasha energy is all about high priestess energy someone here is definitely a high priestess someone here is stepping into their power someone here is going deeper into the akashic records about to have their mind cracked open in ways that they've always known but beyond what they could have ever imagined right some of you are getting confirmation that you are a light worker that you are a healer that you are a high priestess and you cannot get to high priestess status until you have been through the shadows, right? Toil and turmoil, thy utmost, right? Because in order to find your light and to come out of this dark night, to travel through Pluto and be ready to take the fool's journey to move into what? The one, the, man the manifestation of the magician and then to the high priestess, you have to have passed some tests right? You have to have faced temptation and you have to have moved through the shadows. Past the initiation phase. And this is what it is, right? This is what it is. And this is what this resistance is all about also. For some of you, this is the resistance. This devil energy, right? Whatever this, you know, possible Capricorn, Leo, Pisces energy, right? The Courtney Love, the Kurt Cobain in reverse, right? The, you know, I want to be so bad I'm never forgotten, you know, this is kind of like ego. If it's parts of yourself, if, if it's someone else that feels lost, they can't control you. Um, someone that's obsessed with you, right? Someone that can't, you know, win, right? Someone that can't get have access, gain access because you have taken this leap of faith, okay? Um, because you are. protected your voice will be heard right this is your energy protecting the royalties only the loyal and the royal can get through the portal can get into the chamber of knowings so yeah that's what's taking place okay and we all know after the high priestess it's the Empress, right? It's the Empress. It's harvest time, right? Where is Venus, you know, jumping into her home sign, the planet that she rules, the sign that she rules, Taurus, value, worth, the self, right? The feminine, with the masculine right behind. But the feminine is in the lead, the feminine is ahead. Okay, whether that's part of your own energy, right? We're trying to reach androgyny here. We're trying to reach that energy of androgyny, of not masculine, not fem feminine, but all, all. 
all that is. Complete balance. Pure love energy. Pure love frequency, right? Cracking the cosmic egg into pure manifestation where the waters are endless and pure. Sliding down rainbows into unimaginable realms, right? That's where you're headed. These spaces and places are found within. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's been a lot of temptation here for you guys, okay? A lot of temptation, but like Tupac said, <laughs> I still have my heart. I still have my heart. I didn't sell my soul, right? Just like in the Bible um, where they talk about Job, right? And how the devil, you know, rolled up to God and was like, hey, I really, I want Job and I'm going to, you know, attempt Job, you know, and I'm, you know, pretty much, pretty much sure that I'm going to be able to win Job over um, because, you know, that's how I roll, you know, I know all of Job's desires and all of his darkest and deepest secrets. And, um, I got this. I got this pretty much in the bag. And God's like, uh, okay, do what you gotta do. You know, I'm pretty confident in Job. You know, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty confident that Job has went within and has faced his shadows. And, uh, yes, you, you're not gonna get to Job. Job, you, you know, if Job has faced his shadows and done the work, there's nothing that you can use against Job. Job is, is strong. Job is, you know, powerful. Um, and powerfully confident within. Um, go ahead, at, go have at it, have at it. And of course, the devil, which is just a manifestation of the duality in which we live in. We all have dark, we all have shadow, we all have light, right? But for the sake of the story, the devil tempted Job in every possible way. Um, attacked Job, right, with all kinds of lep leprosy and flesh wounds and all kinds of, you know, attacks like many of you could be experiencing, right? We did have this Pisces in reverse, this Leo in reverse, right? The Theta Bar in reverse is someone who misuses their spiritual abilities, dark magic, um, witchcraft, etc. So some of you could have had people who are uh, scorned, who are experiencing ego, who are facing their own shadows, who are obsessed, throwing work your way, right? Um, projections and trying to, you know, uh, do all kinds of uh, witchcraft and different, throw all kinds of sorcery your way, right? Um, but it's not working, right? Um, you know, whatever they're doing, whatever you are facing, even if you know, some of you are new to the path or are experiencing these type of situations and you're like someone who is at the beginning of your journey where all this is new to you, um, understand that nothing can affect you when you are in your power. The only way to that these entities can affect you is if you give them your power, right? So most of you who are on your path, you aren't being affected by this, right? You know, if someone is uh, doing spells against you, for instance, uh, trying to affect your looks or trying to affect your business, you know, there could be some residual effects where something might slow down for a day or you might get a small pimple, but like, you're protected. You're, this is not affecting you. It's going back to them. It's unfortunate that people have to learn this way because they are resisting facing their own egos. But like Tupac said, I didn't sell out. I didn't sell my soul, right? Job was blessed. 
with pure abundance and prosperity, right? Bliss, divine love, creativity. For generations and generations and generations to come, right? So it's like, that's what's happening for you here, right? That's what you're coming to understand through the chamber of knowings, whatever that means for you. Okay, whatever seemed lost, whatever seemed like 10 of pentacles in reverse, right? Burdensome. It could be family. It could be work. It could be, it could be something that you felt was yours, but you hadn't received. Something that was blocked from you, right? That's, that's flipping around. This, there's something like there's something that's being resurrected here you are like the gps like you know it's being annoying it's just saying all these random things and all of a sudden it's like um it's saying like um rerouting 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 right <laughs> make a u-turn right um you know everything is being rerouted and you are back on hope's road towards your your true north right but someone here did sell out. Someone here did sell their soul, right? Corruption, blackballed, theft, right? Fraud, someone's a fraud, a conspiracy, right? An agent, an informant, lies, betrayal, right? Interrogation, disloyalty, greed. Someone here is definitely um, a sellout. Someone here is definitely... Um, Signed on the dotted line. Chose a side. Period. But you're no longer bound. Someone is bound by their own ego. Whatever they're sending your way, these forces, these circumstances, whatever, these people, it's coming back to them. They're bound by their own thoughts, by their own deeds, by their own actions, by their own fears. Obsession, control, bound to this situation, okay, stuck, and this could be a lot of legal problems, right, breach of contract, you know, someone is evolving past some type of contract that, you know, could be soulmate. Contracts that are ending, right? Soulmates can turn karmic. There are just lessons that you meant to learn in this path to take you to the next level. And there are energies that don't want to let go, right? But they have to let go because what? Boom, Taurus. <laughs> there is something new that's coming in because the work has been done to release, right? Scorpio, full moon, uh, total lunar eclipse. But nothing set in stone. These energies are going to be building and building and building and building up for the next six months, but they start now, right? Venus is moving into Taurus with Mars not far behind, right? This is something about balance, right? 37 is the energy of completion. That's 10. That's like the 10 of pentacles, right? Taurus is earth energy. This is your inheritance. This is your divine right. This is your divine blessings, right? This is like a two of cups energy also. So with this card, um, it's like my archetype of uh, Shakespeare, right? Um, Shakespeare was technically a Taurus. And in this poem, it says, the sweetest honey is loathsome in its own deliciousness and in the taste destroys the appetite. Therefore, love moderately. Something may have been rushed into, you know, this is like, you know, easy does it, right? This could also have something to do with someone changing their diet, right? Um, but also, it's like love moderately. Something was fake. Something was confectioner sugar. The true nectar is coming in, right? The true nectar is coming in this is like letting go of the fantasy romeo and juliet right letting go of the fantasy and preparing for the true preparing for something new preparing for something divine right 
someone could be a writer, someone could write poetry, someone could be an actor, actress. Um, but this is like balance coming in, right? Six of Earth. This is what your divine inheritance. This is what someone who's an empath, someone who deserves love, someone who is kind, someone who's giving, someone that the universe deems suitable to create balance, suitable to be fair. And therefore, that is what is coming to you, what you deserve, right? Something that is true, something that is real. Six of Pentacles, Six of Taurus, Six of Earth is real, real manifestation, right? It's balance. It's no longer scraps. It's the star of Venus. Yeah, right below that, we have the moon. Everything you've ever imagined coming to you on the other side of purging, right? The last reading I did was all about the full moon in Scorpio, all about purging, all about the eclipse, right? The moon energy in itself is number 18, reducing to nine, which is about evolution, you know, possible conflict on the path before the ending, divine timing, divine justice, cosmic justice, purging negativity to make space for something new, doing the shadow work, right? The imagination, the dream state, the fourth dimension. This is also about going deep within, right? Akasha, meditation. But it's also about also moving past the illusions, the fears, the addiction, understanding that fear is an illusion. Becoming this high priestess through all of it. It's standing in your power as you move toward your true north, right? Moving past the secrets and the shadows and the deception and whatever's been done in the dark, whatever was meant to poison you on your path, getting retuned, recalibrated in the chamber of knowing as you move towards your true north, your true north. Wow. Tell me more for Sagittarius placements. What else for Sagittarius placements? What else is happening for Sagittarius placements? Uh, temperance. <laughs> there you are. Showed up for your own reading. Okay. Balance. This is protection. This is angelic guidance. Everything in moderation. Everything, everything in this reality is for you in moderation. This universe is yours. This earth is yours. You have to know it. Understand your worth. But everything in moderation, right? You're balancing things right now. You're coming into your divine purpose. You're 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 falling deeper into your divine purpose. You're rising higher into onto your divine path. You have more of an inner standing. You're moving into an overstanding. Okay, temperance is Archangel Michael, right? There's a lot that's being dissolved, cut by Archangel Michael's sword, right? You're divinely and sacredly held and protected. Some of you are earth angels. Some of you are fairy light beings from other realms. All of you are tapping into higher frequencies and consciousnesses at this time. 
But understand that whenever you have the devil in your reading and temperance in your reading, both major arcanas, temperance is number 14, reduces to five. Five is all about change and towers and paradigm shifts, right? There's a major paradigm shift that's taking place. Okay, some of you are spearheading this. Some of you are leaders in your community, in your family. Um, but whenever temperance and the devil come out together, temperance always trumps the devil. Always. This is also Jupiter. Blessings. Expansion. For some of you, it's taken a lot of patience and will to move through the valley of the shadows, right? But you have slain the demons. You won the battle, right? Temperance is here. It's powerful. So there's blessings, there's blessings that you're walking into. Um, why am I hearing um, June 5th, something about the 5th, that's of significance surrounding this temperance energy. And there's also something about traveling by water. We have the fool, we have like six of swords energy in this reading. So there is something that's shifting quickly. This is like moving past the competition. You're, you're coming into some type of award or reward against all odds. against all odds. This temperance card also represents healing, okay? Anything that you've been purging in your body, illness, sickness, some type of disturbance, any type of like situation, relationship, family situation, whatever you're going through, whatever you are struggling with, you have help with it or this is a promise of healing, a promise of aid, of angelic protection, or this could be someone that, that's coming in, right, that's coming in to help temper your situation. That's beautiful. What else? For Sagittarius placement. Justice. All major arcana so far. We have the faded overall energy, but we have temperance, we have justice. Okay. Justice, Libra energy. Number 11. It's the portal, right? It's the portal that you've moved through or that you're about to move through, taking the leap of faith, right? Into a whole new world, a whole new realm, into an awakening. Into things being resolved, karma being resolved, this legal matter being resolved. If it is a legal matter, it's going to be going in your favor. In the beginning of the reading, we said breach, right? This is a breach of contract, right? 
justice is on your side someone is like seeking the truth the scales of justice are being balanced whatever was unfair is going to be made right someone could be passing the bar someone could be in a position to retain some type of legal aid that they couldn't before that's going to get them the justice, the justice that they deserve the settlement that they deserve that they've been waiting for if this is not legal then this is universal period my yacht period this is a balance right you bring the balance to everyone or this is something that's coming in for you the universe is bringing you what you deserve right this is powerful energy right here you know this is like ascension period And this is also justice for anything or anyone that tries to come up against you or throw anything negative your way. It's like it's being sent back, period. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, because fear is the illusion. All right? I mean, you have the watchers on all four corners. Nothing can seep by. Nothing can get through. This is a final judgment. The final judgment. Right? This is the end of the corruption. Like, this is the last chapter. The last chapter. Let's get one more card here. Who's that to show these placements? So far, all major arcanas. We have Libra. We have Sag coming through for sure. Pluto, Scorpio. Um, we have Leo. We have Pisces. Okay, Neptune. The sun is here. We have the water elements. We have Akasha. We also have Capricorn, right? And Saturn. We also have Uranus and Taurus as well. Okay. Pluto and Capricorn. Okay, that's too many cards. Let's get one more card, please, for Sagittarius placement. What an interesting message. Okay, so we have this King of Cups flying out over Captivate and right under this Pisces energy of Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain. All right, whole captivate energy. Like literally, there is definitely someone that's you know experiencing an ego death. They're stuck in their ego, stuck in the dark night of the soul, resisting the dark night of the soul. Right, with the Pisces energy, the Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, Courtney Love, addiction, some type of like uh, uh, disillusionment surrounding love, or someone is trying to throw witchcraft your way, um, spell work your way. Someone that was caught up in something or. Again, uh, love and uh, moderation. Someone jumped into something too soon. Either way, um, all this energy surrounding the King of Cups, right? Um, someone is stuck, right? Or obsessed or very, very manipulative, right? This could be a magician energy, right? Um, but this is someone that could be very, very foolish, very, very um, lost, okay? Very, very lost, um, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, we have all of these energies. This could be someone who is suffering from addiction or who is addicted to you or obsessed with you, right? Because it's connected to the devil and this energy of like some type of sorcery or some type of dark magic or spell work gone wrong. Either way, with this King of Cups here in reverse, this is someone who is losing control, right? Someone who, again, is very psychic, is very um, in tune with their psychic abilities or um, gifts, but use it for their own desires or for destruction of others, right? To control. The king of pentacles in reverse is an energy, male or female, of someone that is lost. 
someone that is manipulative, emotionally destructive to themselves and others. This is someone who has fear surrounding love, abandonment, and plays a lot of games, you know, projects a lot. Also, um, dissociates from their emotions, um, repress their emotions, and creates a lot of test to protect their own heart because of fear, all right? So this is an energy of someone that is emotionally unstable. and very much obsessed or very much possessive or someone who is possessed by someone or some force or an entity, okay? Definitely could be some type of illness, sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted demons, right? Incubi, suscubi, but ultimately this is an energy that wants your soul that wants you to sell your soul that wants to interfere or intervene or intercept what is true truly coming in for you okay or what you already moved into you know you've already slid into the portal someone is blocked period someone is blocked and this is something that you know right the chamber of knowings wow okay yeah someone is about to you know, get their justice here. And all of the injustice is about to be accounted for, right? Because temperance, temperance is here to bring balance. And again, 14 reduces to five. It's something is changing, period. Something is shifting. It will never be the same. never be the same someone is you know kind of spiraling in their own web of deceit in their own spiral of destruction scarcity mindset dirty unfiltered waters that are filled with unhealed emotion, pain. Codependency. But this is something that you are free of. You're free of it. And if this is parts of yourself, then this is what's being cut out. Okay, this is what has to be let go of in order for this true Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Venus, Manifestation, Empress Energy to come through, right? And this is what you discovered in the Chamber of Knowing that's leading you back onto Hope Road towards your true north. Towards inner peace, towards bliss, towards hope and freedom. And nothing, like I always say, can stop you but you, okay? Nothing can stop you but you. Sagittarius placements, know your worth, okay? Know that you're royalty. Understand where your loyalties lie, okay? And you will understand all of these things by going with in. Some of you have done that and the spell has been broken, okay? And it's beautiful.
Okay, guys, potential outcome. Potential outcome. Oops. Too many cards. Potential outcome. The Sagittarius placement. Ace of Hope. I was all lost. Now I'm on Hope Road, right? There are some lost ones, but you're not one of them, okay? And if you are, if you were one, you found your way, right? There's travel. There's newness. There is balance that is being restored. There's a freshness, a newness that's coming in for you, right? Coming out of, the, out of the chamber of knowing, there's a whole sense of new awareness that is not only taking you beyond, but it's also grounding you, right? It's grounding you to this realm so that you can really bring forth everything that your heart desires, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a divine blessing from the universe of powerful manifestation, of moving forward past delays, of prosperity and abundance in everything that your heart desires. Right? Like all of the masks are being removed, right? All of your prayers are being answered. All of your affirmations are coming to pass. The floods and gates and everything is lifting and opening and everything is, is coming your way, pouring your way, flooding your way, right? The Ace of Pentacles is like something being handed right to you, sitting it right in your lap. Okay, this is a gift. This is an opportunity. Uh, this is a, a raise. This is a some jewelry, right? An engagement. This is a home. This is a car. Um, this is assistance on a project. Anything that you can touch, taste, feel. This is a new relationship, but it, it's yours, right? This is going to be something that you get that's going to open up the door to something else. In my, man, in my meditation, at the end of my session in the ch chamber of knowing, I was gifted with a key, a golden key. That was embellished with lapis lazuli. And with this key, it was a gift of more knowledge and a gift of more to come. And that's what I feel like this is for you, okay? But this is real. This is something that you can hold. It's yours, okay? The ace of hope. Hope sometimes keeps a body joint with the soul that would not live without it. And in the end, it always reaches the palm of victory. And in the end, it always reaches the palm of victory. This is beautiful. In the end, it always reaches a palm of victory. On the bottom of the deck, we still have the devil here, right? Which is fine. It's absolutely all divine order. Because if you didn't, then you wouldn't be divine. You wouldn't be chosen on this path. The closer and closer you get to the end, right? To the liberation and the freedom the harder and harder the opposition will go. The harder and faster and more severe the opposition will come for you. But you are protected, right? But someone is definitely obsessed 
or these forces are ramping up, right? Because they see your light, they see your mission, they see your divine heritage, your divine inheritance, your royalty, okay? Your light, they seek it. They can't create without it. They're nothing without it, all right? All you need to do is focus within, right? Lots of meditation, lots of um, contemplation for you, okay? Um, at this time, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the signs, all right? You are going higher. You are ascending and nothing, nothing can get in the way of that. Nothing, okay? Nothing, right? Remember, no matter what, is up you're up against and of course also the devil can also indicate saturn right lessons lessons not repeating lessons not repeating cycles you know moving forward and not looking back but no matter when the devil shows up in a reading understand that you are temperance you are the alchemist right you are the alchemical gold. Everything is coming into balance, right? Victory. Back on Hope's Road with the victory. Okay, so we're going to end with an oracle. going to end with an oracle for Sagittarius placements, divine advice, divine advice, okay, we have ceremony, invocation right so i feel like this is about manifestation right this is about having an altar this is about paying homage to the ancestors uh to your team with highest light and resonance this is connecting with your higher self right um all that you desire all that you have manifested is yours know it right the chamber of knowings on the bottom of the deck we have um mountain strength right this is like inner strength this is protection right um there is a verse that says something about you know i think jesus was saying um something about you know don't you know your own strength don't you know your own power all you need to do is look at that mountain and tell it for to move from here to there and it will do it it's about knowing right it's about knowing someone could be moving to the mountains moving to um i don't know why i'm here in colorado canada i'm hearing i'm seeing a lot of seas um but ultimately it's manifestation um someone is powerful someone is an alchemist um and if someone's going higher with all this purple energy um crown chakra energy but your divine message here is ceremony, invocation. We're going to read this message for you to end the reading for Sagittarius placements. Okay, ceremony, invocation. Whether through indifference, depression, life crisis, or any other manifestation of mental, emotional, or physical blockages. 
you have drifted from the intimacy with spirit for which you yearn, it is important to do what you can to regain an experience of spiritual power. Okay, guys. Spiritual power that is contained within you and all around you. Do so by conducting a ceremony, one that involves not only spirit, but also material objects you consider sacred. Set up an altar in a convenient area that is apart from your usual living space. Start with representations of the four major elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and then add just a few sacred objects. Set your intentions for the ceremony, such as whether the purpose is for healing, celebration, or honoring a particular earth season or cycle, then do an invocation to call upon your spirit guides. Breathe this, breathe their presence and ask these divine beings to guide you throughout the process. Trust their guidance, feel your heartbeat and keep breathing. Breath is the key to the actual experience of spirit and in creating a ceremony is a vehicle that supports this. To me, this is just speaking about meditation, going within, that's super important for you guys at this time meditation contemplation and vocation all right guys that's super important i feel like um they are encouraging me to read the other oracle um which is mountain strength okay so i'm gonna do it mountain strength the massiveness of the mountain in this image bearing the blankets of snow as the spectacular hues from the sun reflect from its body invokes a sense of penetrable and immovable strength and stature. A mountain's quiet, resolute immensity leaves us in awe and inspires us to reach for greater heights, yet it can also pose challenges. The firm base of the mountain evolves to the narrower crest in its attempt to reach the sky. More daring individuals become enamored by the peak and see it as something to conquer although it can never be truly conquered. When the mountain feels threatened in some way or simply shrugs its shoulders, the strength, exhibits, the strength exhibited can wreak havoc for all beings caught on its skin. I feel like the mountain is you, right? And there are entities or people or situations around you that sees you as a challenge because you are going higher, because you are evolving, because you seem to be Inbreachable, right? Unreachable in some aspects, but they misinterpret your vastness, your power, and the protection that drives you, that's all around you, okay? And like it says, a simple shrug of the shoulders, right? The strength exhibited in that can wreak havoc for all beings caught on its skin. So it makes no sense to deny the strength you have at the cost of allowing yourself to be reactive and subject to external influences far beyond what is healthy for you. Imagine yourself as a mountain of strength, solidly grounded in the earth, your head held high as if you were touching the sky. Do so without straining, just as the mountain itself does not strain. The current situation calls for you to be vigilant, but not to the point of fear or paranoia. Be that rock of strength that you are capable of becoming. The wildness of your resolve will be clearly communicated when you model yourself after the towering immensity of a mountain, impenetrable and inscrutable. Standing steady like a rock is what is called for at this time. Standing steady as a rock 
is what is called for at this time. Sagittarius placements, okay? You will not be moved, okay? Understand your strength. You are protected. You are moving into a space, right? That is putting you back onto Hope's Road. Justice is working in your favor. The scales are being balanced, all right? The spell has been broken, right? And there is something that is coming into balance for you, okay? And it's beautiful, all right? And it's beautiful. The universe deems you responsible, deems you worthy, right? This is all about protecting your royalties, right? There's something that is meant for you that is coming your way. In the chamber of knowing, through the sh valley of the shadows, there's a lot that's been moved through, right? Anguish, heartache, pain. Temptation. Betrayal. So much, right? But the sword of truth is held high for you. The sword of truth is held high for you, right? Remain vigilant. Again, you still have your heart, although some have definitely sold out, right? Some have definitely sold out. Understand, right? Hope sometimes keeps a body joint with the soul that would not live without it. And in the end, it always reaches the palm a victory, okay? It always reaches the palm of victory. Everything that is meant for you is yours. Patience is being rewarded. The portal has opened, go on through. through deep contemplation and true inner knowing. Everything wish for will most certainly come true.